Welcome to the job site. I got another quick tip for you as far as wainscoting goes and that's how you can put your wainscoting panels up in one piece. But this is another way to do it and when it comes to trim carpentry there's so many ways to do different things so everybody has their own style. In this video I'm going to show you another way to do it. So let's check it out. What I have right here on the floor is a 8 foot wainscoting panel. It's face down so you can't see the styles and rails on it. But we have this sheet, we would normally put this on the wall, but we chose to do it this way just to save us a little bit of time. And it's actually a really smart and convenient way to do it. And what we did was we just got our styles and rails pocket, hold them together, and then cut this 8th inch MDF uh, 4x8 sheet and just split the difference on either end because it wasn't long enough. So it would shim out perfectly at the top and bottom. And these lines right here coming down, those show, these pencil lines, they show where the styles are on the wainscoting. So what that does for us, we have these little 5 8 inch nails and we're using an 18 gauge um, nail gun here with 18 gauge nails and we have that nail backed out almost as much as it can go so it doesn't blow through this um, 8 inch MDF. And we'll just take the nail gun and shoot all down that pencil line. So when I lift this whole thing up, it's ready to go in. As you can see, I've already, I'm ready to put this panel in. I've got my um, fast grab right here. So let me lift this up and show you what I mean. You can get an idea of how it's going to look. So this is a 54 inch high wainscoting. Seven and a quarter inch bottom rail, five and a half inch top rail, with three and a half inch um, vertical styles, and that it just makes it so much easier. I can take this piece in now, and I can have the back glued on, and just put it in place and nail it in, all in one one installation process. Now, one thing you do want to do if you're going to do this method, you always want to dry fit before you put the glue on. Let's say you put all that glue on and it's gooped on there and then you take your piece in and you need to make a cut or something, an adjustment, then you're trying to work with a piece that has glue all over it and that's not fun. Another advantage of this, as you can see here, we cut out our, we have an electrical outlet that comes up right here. We cut that out and that's good to go. So really all that's left, glue and nail this piece on together. So the back is all glued now. We'll go ahead and take this piece in and show you where it goes in the house. Alright, that's where she goes. We already did a dry fit, like I was saying, so we know this fits in there. And a good idea when doing this method is to kind of put a bunch of pressure on these uh, these rails and then in the middle of this obviously you want that glue to really grab the wall. But that's how easy this can be installed when you put it on in one piece like this. All that's left, we're not going to do a baseboard on this, this design. We're just going to put a cap on and this is like more of a shaker design. But all that's left is pull that outlet through, mount it on top of the MDF and nail this in and we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, hope you learned something and I'll catch y'all next time.